Hello there and welcome to the new Google Data Studio tutorial and in this tutorial I will going to show you how you can create a scatter chart like this which will help you know the information about the various products or various customers based on the the respective measures like profit and sales. So what we are doing it over here is we are displaying the information of the products based on their respective sales and profit to various customers and various different location and then we are bifurcating these products by the shipping mode so whether the shipping has been done by the delivery truck or the regular air or the express air so which will help you understand uh, if there is some sort of uh, a policy violation or something which is not as per your understanding of the business so for example if you see most of the express air is here where the product is uh, slightly of less value as compared to the delivery truck where you know these delivery truck products are having the higher order value as compared to the express air so this basically enables you to do the comparison and figure out whether the things are happening as per your uh, perspective or not so let's see how we can create a scatter chart so for that i'll go into the edit mode and first of all i'll just remove that and then I will come over here and add a chart and in chart uh, we have the option of adding the scatter chart over uh, here so we have two types of scatter chart we have a normal scatter chart or we can have a bubble chart so let's go ahead and create a normal scatter chart over here so once we add a scatter chart over here it will show us that uh, with the help of the default dimension values and measures in just in a second so right now we have the customer segment and uh, which is displayed over here and we have the profit and sales so if we go into the front end we can go into the view mode and see the various customer segment and clearly the corporate customer segment is the most uh, profitable as well as where the most sales is going on so we can always change the dimension over here so let's say we don't want customer segment but what we want is the uh, product name so we can bring the product name on top of the customer segment and this will now show us the various product names so this product name is now uh, clearly showing us hundreds of products that the company sell and uh, which you can basically analyze it on the axis of sales and profit to know which are your most profitable products like this which is a global troy executive leather low back title or the the products where you are having the uh, losses so for example like this okidata pace mark 4410n uh, product so this way uh, it can give you a bird eye view of your products which you want to analyze based on the dimensions you have or the measures you have but not only this it allows us to do various settings both in the uh, data area where you can change a lot of data specific sorting specific date range specific properties as well as style properties